So let's get this suspension one over. Leaf springs, so that's going to be a problem in the rear of the car. What else is here? Place all filters. At least the same thing. Let's take the M3, because I like these cars better. Alright, so let's get this up, and I will show you what is wrong. So leaf springs, the, the rear of the car uses leaf springs in some of these older ones. And if we look, it's going to be... Yeah, okay. So this part right here... Whoops. Okay, this one does not use leaf springs, I lied. I'm off to a great start. Some of them use leaf springs. Um, this car does not, but it does have the leaf spring plate and U-bolt. So what we're going to do, we're going to take these U-bolts off. This one looks okay. Why do we need to replace... Alright. So that must mean that one on the other side has gone wrong. Uh, no. This is just one or two? Just one, that's why. Alright, so let's get said parts. Back to the store, it's gonna be under your suspension. Leaf spring U bolt and a leaf spring plate. <coughs> Sorry. You would be surprised how much, um, like even something on the rear of the car, you would think that would not affect steering too much, you are wrong. Uh, I can even test that to myself. I replaced my shock absorbers not too long ago, put in some very nice Bilstein ones, I have an F-150, and it was one of the best things I ever did for the car, to be completely honest. Oops. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it was definitely one of the best things I could do, because it was... The difference between it is like night and day. Even though it's on the rear, you can tell it's... It's so much more planted through corners. Alright, do any of these have a bonus? They do not. So we're going to go on to this one. This is another story mode job. When driving through another city, I didn't notice the speed bump. Please check out the front suspension because I have an impression that something is not right. Alright, let's see. Let's find a toolbox here. I wonder if we can upgrade to... Yes. That's a path test and repair table. So I do want to do that because I would like a path test. Discount in shops? Hell yeah. Faster walking? Uh, not yet. Faster unscrewing and part removal, that would be awesome. Alright, so now we have a repair table, we can repair parts. And the path test allows us to check brakes and suspension components. Quite wonderful. That's a new noise. Those haven't always made noise when you open them. Alright, what was this? An oil change? Filters, alright. Air filter, I4, alright. I need a... It's not gonna be here. Need this, and then the oil filter and the fuel filter. Fuel filter and an I4 fuel, er, uh, oil filter. Fuel filter. I already bought that, dumbass. All right, let's get those replaced. Oh boy. The fuel filter is here. No, that's the gearbox. Uh, that's not always the case. At least the 
cars I've worked on, it's not usually in the engine bay. I've always found it to be... What? Well, let's test them off. What? Am I missing something here? I don't see any clips. Alright, we are going... I can't come back to that because I need to get to the air filter. What the hell? What comes off? Oh, that's why. Ha! It would help if I was in the unmount mode. Alright, so let's get this all replaced. Anyway, uh, the cars that I've done with or with um, fuel filters, they've always been... Jeez, where am I trying to go? Uh, if we lift the car up. I've always had them be along the driver's side uh, panel here. I guess you can call it that. It's always been on the driver's side underneath the car whenever I've worked on them. Connected to a fuel line. Alright, so let's get the oil drained. We'll get the oil filter off. Get the new one on. Move this back. And lower the car to put new oil in. Alright, so that should be good to go. Finish order. Let's get this story mode car over here. Actually, we're going to start on the test path. So we can check out the suspension. So we'll come over here. Path test. Yes. Car to start. Place it on the brake tester. So those front brakes, uh, we might need to pull those and replace them. If the rest of them are at 80, that's a little bit concerning. Yeah, something is definitely up at the front end. Yep, there we go, lower suspension arms on both sides. Both front shock absorbers and the shock absorber cap. Other than that, though, brakes somehow look okay. You can see brake pads, brake pads, brake discs, brake discs, calipers. Alright. Can I get out of here, please? There we go. Good escape. So let's get this on the lift and we can start ripping it apart. Close the doors. Let's see. Oh, that did not discover everything. Alright, so we might come across more while we're taking that apart. Alright, let's get this up. Alright, so, tie rods are shot, drive axle does not look like it's in great shape either. Alright, 
let's get the wheel off because it's going to have to come off. To this side too because this is the same story over here. one side at a time, otherwise it's going to get very confusing as to what parts need to be replaced. So that can come off, we're going to take the sway bar front end link off, all this is shot. Drive axle is going to come off, and then the front shock absorber as well. Oh, the radiator looks dead too. So that's gonna also gonna have to get replaced. All right, I can get rid of some of this. One dollar for a used oil filter. Anyone want it? Now I know I can create a parts list at the time, but it's I never think of that. Alright, so we need to separate this front shock absorber out, because we can probably salvage some of that. Yeah, the front spring we can reuse. Outer tie rod, an inner tie rod. All right, let's see if I can remember that. I'm not going to, but we can figure it out. Actually, I should just get all this now too, because it's bad on the other side. Need a control arm. Not that one. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Let's go with this. I think that was it. We need a drive axle as well. Going out on a limb here. Uh, what else? What else? What else? A sway bar front end link. I think it was A. Alright, let's try that. I think that was everything. Oh, no it's not, because I need the suspension components. Front shock absorber and a front shock absorber cap. Shock. Front shock absorber and front shock absorber cap. Alright, so let's put the shock absorber back together first. Come over here to the spring puller. start putting some of this back together. Lower suspension arm. Yes, yes, and yes. Let's get the front drive axle back on as well. We get the tie rods. The shock absorber back on. And the sway bar front end link. I don't think there's... there is a sway bar. Okay, sway bar's in okay shape. Alright, so now we can do the... we'll do the same thing here that we did on the other side. Ooh, what else am I missing? Alright. Drive axle off as well. Alright, let's put back on what we have. Get 
tie rods. And I think, yeah, I need to go. Let's go rip that apart and put it back together. Shock absorber back on. The sway bar front end link. And lastly, the wheels, which I think we'll wait on a little bit. Alright, so there are still two more parts that we need to discover. One of those, I'm pretty sure, is the radiator. Oops. What do I need to do? Click that, and then part now. I think the rear was okay, we said. Go into overview mode. Yeah, the suspension system back here looks okay. Whoops. Just do a general overview. I don't see any, like, seriously rusty parts either. Okay, so that is a good sign. So it is something in the front of the engine now. Could be, could be all that radiator junk. Take this out. Yeah, radiator fan housing B, and radiator A. Good, okay, that could have been a lot worse. So we do rad, radiator fan housing B, and radiator A. There's no radiator B, what? It goes A to C. That's interesting. All right, let's get the new radiator in. Alright, and that is that for that story mode job. Let's finish the order. I got a lot of old parts now. Alright. Uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, let's do this and we'll call it a day. Put in new engine oil and filter. So this... Oh, this car has seen better days. Jeez. Why would you treat... What was this? Whoops. Oil filter V8. Alright, let's just get that now. Oil filter V8. It's gonna be a yellow one. This charger has seen better days. over. You know the routine now. Oh my god. This car is in such bad shape. Jeez. I would say I hope he's restoring it, but judging by the fact that he's telling us to change the oil for him, I don't think he is. If he can't even change his own oil, there's no way in hell he's going to be restoring this. Where is the... there's the fuel cap. Alright, let's get this filled up. And if we need to check it, the dipstick is over here. We are within the min and max values, so we are okay. It's a little bit on the full side, actually. Alright, we're gonna finish this order. Ooh, sorry. We're gonna finish this order and call it a day. Next. In the next video, sorry. 
we will take on a few more of these oil changes and filters and that and we are also going to fix this guy's car obviously that is what we do as a car mechanic uh, I bought this machine from a friend who needed money very quickly he assured me that the car is working but something strangely pulls it to the right and this strange smell like mushrooms from what I remember he works behind a desk not in sales funny anyway check what's wrong and make it usable so we're going to take that on in the next video uh, and with all that said I will see you guys later